After four years, 1900 Park Fair has finally reopened and we're at the Grand Floridian for dinner. Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay, and I'm Sam, and you are watching the Theme Park Foodies, and we are back at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa to experience the Victorian elegance that only the Grand Floridian can provide, and dine at a restaurant that we have seen the doors shuttered on for four years, 1900 Park Fair. This is a character meal, it's right next to the Grand Floridian Cafe, we've actually shown the doors closed when we were dining at the Grand Floridian Cafe a few months back, and they finally opened for both breakfast and for dinner, uh, same characters for both now, right? They are. It used to be like Cinderella, Prince Charming, her evil stepmother, and her stepsisters, which everyone really loved. I think in the morning they yeah. had Winnie the Pooh and Mary Poppins and the Mad Hatter. Yeah. It was a beloved experience, but now it is uh, rethemed to a Wishmaker theme. So Cinderella is still there, but she is now joined by Aladdin, Mirabelle. Uh, Tiana in her Bayou Adventure Ooh, outfit. Getting ready for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. <laughs> yeah, and the food, I think they've changed it up as well. However, there is a fan favorite strawberry soup, right? Yeah, seems weird. I feel like most of the buffets typically have the same items, like yeah. the carving station and the peel and eat shrimp. But usually there's like one or two things that are like specific to yeah. that ex specific experience. So they do have um, a Tiana's gumbo, mm. and they do have like a salmon with yeah. saffron sauce. We're definitely gonna have a little buffet tour to show you everything they have here. We'll be trying out the food, meeting the characters. We're here for dinner. We weren't able to snag that breakfast reservation because mm. we do have daytime jobs, but mm. we're gonna have a lot of fun heading in there. We'll show you how to get there and we'll review each of the food. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner at 1900 Park Fair. First time opened in four years. So we parked in the Grand Floridian parking lot. I always like the old antique cars or horse and carriage they have right here in the front. And we'll try to get there from the first level. If you come in from the second level from the monorail, you'll have to go down one flight of steps. All right, so we came in through the first level. We're gonna have to go head straight to the back and then kind of bare left this little corridor over here. We're going to pass the Sandy Cove gifts and sundries on our left. And as we get closer, we'll see the Grand Floridian Cafe but right to the left of the Grand Floridian Cafe will be 1900 Park Fair. So if you notice at the top of the sign at the front and right above the menu, they have a carousel horse because there's like kind of a light carousel theme in here and they show you the kind of selections they have for breakfast and for dinner. You can see in the waiting area on the wallpaper, they have this for like the wish, it's like the wishing star. And then you see kind of more of that carousel theme. See some Victorian paintings matching the elegance of the Grand Floridian. And it also looks like they have some carousel designs up on the wall here. All right, we checked in and we're heading in. It does look very elegant. All right, so we just got seated. As you walk in, you can see it does have kind of that Victorian elegance. It's kind of a music box at the top, I guess, which gives off that carousel theme. And then you can see all the characters yearning for something, making a wish, adorning the walls above of you. They also give you this wish card, which you're supposed to use this pencil for right here to write your wish on. On the back of it, a few of the characters have signed their names. These are Cinderella, Aladdin, Princess Tiana, and Mirabelle. All right, so let's take a look at the buffet now. All right, to the left, they have cold items, and to the right, they have more savory and hot items. And in the middle, they have the carving station. In the carving station, they have the prime rib, and they have a spice roasted turkey. For the savory food, they have mashed potatoes with horseradish sauce, and they also have a au jus here, which I'm assuming you use for your prime rib, and a house-made steak sauce. This is the roasted garlic sausage, and this is a house-made macaroni and cheese. Looks like they're using a white cheddar on there. We have the green beans. This is what I'm looking actually forward to. This is the baked salmon with saffron lemon butter. And then right next to that, we have the glazed carrots. Possible merguez sausage. I hope I'm saying that right. This is curry roasted chicken, steamed jasmine rice. And right next to that is the Tiana's gumbo. I hear that's very good. We'll definitely have to give that a try. Next to that, we have the chicken noodle soup. And in the kids station, they have pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, baked chicken nuggets, and all different sauces. So we were just on the right side of the prime rib. We're going to check out the left side of the prime rib now, which is like the colder options. Focaccia bread, assorted cheeses, 
assorted crackers, and of course, assorted French bread and butter. We have a couscous salad. Ooh, this looks really good. Loaded potato salad, fresh fruit, broccoli slaw, and a Mediterranean garden salad. And of course, for your salads, have all different types of dressings and add-ons and mix-ins. Romaine lettuce, mixed greens. Peel any shrimp is always great, and gotta have some cocktail sauce and lemon with it. Right near the kids' station, they do have unlimited gummy bears, and you could just turn this and your gummy bears will go right into your bowl. It's gonna go low. Yeah. They have another kids' section next to the cold food, so this is a pasta, meatballs, standard marinara, and corn. Children people pleasers. Now our favorite part, the desserts, toasted coconut cake. That's vegan. Oh, it's vegan. Chocolate chip cookies, little tiny vanilla cupcakes. And of course, this is what they're known for, their strawberry soup. It's served cold, we're definitely gonna be trying it out. And they have some whipped cream and strawberries to throw right in there for you. And of course, they have a warm chocolate cake, a lemon blueberry cheesecake, a fudge brownie, Ooh, and a Grand Floridian Financier, an almond cake with sea salt, caramel, and toasted meringue. I want this. Just to show you guys what they have for add-on cocktails. It looks like they have a French 75, spicy Paloma. Oh, a cold brew martini, that sounds interesting. And the zero-proof cocktails are really what Disney has everywhere, the Agave Garden and the Pink London Spritzer. And they also have espresso, cappuccino, and cafe latte. And on the back of this, you can find your wine, beers, hard ciders, and they have some non-alcoholic beverages too. All right, we've gotten our smorgasbord, and now it's time to eat. We'll start with what's on Sam's plate. Sam, what did you get? I see some prime rib in there, some turkey. I got the spiced turkey, the prime rib, the mashed potatoes, the carrots, the loaded potato salad, the mac and cheese, and the sausage. All right, so Sam is starting with the turkey. I didn't see any gravy up there. I did see steak sauce and au jus, but I didn't see any gravy for the turkey. I didn't see for the potatoes either. I just saw the au jus next to the potatoes, which I did throw on there. The turkey is, is pretty good. It's really moist. Yeah. A lot of flavor. I like the seasonings that they have on the, the outside. I would give the turkey a seven. That's well, pretty, you know, a little above average. It's good. So Sam, you're eating your steak bare. That's a the prime rib they have at the carving station. I put a little au jus and steak sauce on mine. I do like it. it. Looks like a good, like medium rare type of cut in the center pieces. You did, yeah. The center is cooked well. I mean, it's gonna vary by which piece they slice off for you, but this piece tastes really good. It doesn't taste like overly fatty. Has a nice flavor. To be honest, a lot of the things aren't for me. There's a lot of spicy stuff and there's a lot of seafood, which I don't eat. So I have to stick to the carving station, but I'm happy with those two. I would give them, I like the prime rib a little bit better. I'm gonna give the prime rib an eight, the turkey a seven. Nice. All right, Sam's gonna have her hand at the mashed potatoes now. I wonder if they're gonna be like buttery or creamy. Super buttery. Super, you can even tell like the hue of the potatoes. See how it has the yellow butter. Look, they're really good mashed potatoes. I'm gonna give the mashed potatoes an eight. Wow, that's the highest number so far. We are potato people. The prime rib got an eight. Oh, okay, they both got eights. All right, so this is kind of a moment of truth moment. Is the mac and cheese good? It's white mac, so I'm assuming it's white cheddar. Yeah, that is so creamy. I usually don't prefer white cheddar. It's really good though. I do, I really like white cheddar. It's very, very, it's extremely creamy. The noodles are, are Soft. It's good sharp flavor, I'm assuming, right? Very, very sharp. Very good mac and cheese. Wow. I don't want to keep saying eight, but eight. I'm also picking things that I normally really like, so. That sounds like a nine to me, but if you want to stick with eight. Okay, nine. <laughs> All right, so Sam's gonna try the garlic sausage. My stomach is not made for excess garlic. I see Aladdin. Yeah, they're coming around, they're coming around. Making nervous. We'll get some characters soon enough. I was gonna write down for my wish, like, I wish for this not to be awkward, but... Yeah, face characters can be awkward sometimes, but I think these are gonna be some great characters. It's good, it's a little spicy. Strong garlic flavor. Uh, I'll give this a six. Okay. Good, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna repeat this. I would definitely repeat the primer of the potatoes and the mac. All right, so Tiana's here, and her signature gumbo is here too, Sam. So I have to, I had to try it out, right? Even though it's spicy. Where are her beignets, though? You're right. They, they don't have her cooking those beignets in the back. Hmm. We gotta ask her when we see her. 
I feel like I asked for that at Akershus too. Mm. Nice little spice in the andouille sausage. Good, uh, like little skin on it. There's a nice like tightness on the skin. That makes sense. I don't think anyone has ever described sausage with a, a tightness on the skin before. It's like a snap. I think you'll be the first. It's like a snap. Um, the chicken is marinated, obviously sitting in those gumbo juices. The basmati rice is the right rice to use for this. It's not too salty. It's not too like spicy. It's good. This is a very good gumbo. Tiana is doing a great job. I have to tell her I really enjoy this. I'm gonna give this an eight. I've, so far the food's good. I mean, you're the Grand Floridian. You gotta be expecting some high-scale high eats. All right, so I got a bunch of things on this plate. I think I'm gonna start with this one, Sam. This is the loaded potato salad. Look at the cheese, look at the bacon bits in there. That looks like a real good starter. Good crunch, good cheesiness. The bacon is very crispy. I'm gonna go eight with that too. That's really good. We're doing high numbers today. I haven't written my wish yet. I'm trying to figure out what mine is. I mean, sometimes everyone wishes a little bit differently at different times, and that's totally okay. Sometimes it can be a lot of pressure, especially when you're with all your friends around you, right? But sometimes it makes it a little bit easier, too. I mean, you have your friends and your family. I mean, it's kind of close to your heart, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> or as the donkeys would say, sometimes they have to think about it after they've eaten their dinner. It makes it a little bit easier for them to take some of that pressure. You know, yeah. it is pretty exciting to be with all our friends making wishes together. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mirabelle. Could could um could we get a photograph with you? Thanks. It's kind of a thing. Nice. It's Prince Ali. Actually, it's just Aladdin. It's just Aladdin. Yeah. Well, you had the garb up, so. Yeah, so only what really matters is not what's on the outside, but what the inside that counts, right? Besides, my friends call me Al. Just call me Al instead, huh? Al, I could call you Al. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So it looks like you guys already made your wishes, huh? Yeah. Is there anything? I made mine. You haven't made your wish yet. Oh, I haven't made my wish yet. Yeah. Well, do you have an idea of what you want to wish for? What if I wished for like a thousand wishes? Is that possible? I mean, anything is possible whenever you're wishing from your heart. Okay, all right. I mean, we don't have any genies around here. No, we don't? Like up and say, Hello, what do you mean? <laughs> I would like to meet Genie. Yeah, I mean, I've never had a friend like him. I'm sure you would love to meet Genie one day. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, when it comes to wishing with your heart, there are no limits, right? No quick read, clothes, limitations, anything like that, okay? Could I do. Could I get a picture with you? Would I, have to give a, would I have to use my wish to get a picture with you, or could I just get a picture? Can I have a picture with you? Thanks a lot. Thanks, Al. All right, so now I'm gonna try the bocaccia bread. We just met Mirabelle and Aladdin, I'm sure you guys have seen. Great characters, great character interactions. The sun-dried tomato on top makes it. It's good. Very soft and pillowy. It's good bread. I'll give it a seven, pretty solid. All right, so I'm gonna try my prime rib with the steak sauce. Sam had hers bare. Oh, it's just very tender. Prime milk, look at that. Your piece looks very tender. For carving station prime rib, that's top tier. I will give that a, a nine. For carving station, I'm, I'm reading in carving station scale, not like steakhouse scale. That's really good. I think everything's been a hit so far. If you're at the Grand Floridian, you gotta have good food, right? Right. Yeah, especially when you're surrounded by all this royalty. Air. Hello, Tiana. Good to see you both this evening. Looks like you got your hands on some real good food before Lewis and the Bean did. Yeah, no. And you got your hands on some of that gumbo, huh? Your gumbo is great. Well, thank you, Sugar. But that is only the beginning. Hopefully, you can hop on over anytime. Maybe we can cook up something real good together. Where are your beignets, though? I fear that Lewis probably ate them all. He's probably going <laughs> to share the beignets this season. He's coming up with some new recipes of his own, and you know, he's kind of the taste tester as well. So Ooh, all he right. He doesn't leave much leftovers for the rest of us. We're very excited for your Bayou adventure that's coming up in Magic Kingdom. We're very excited as well. You'll have to bring your frog feet, of course, but Lewis knows that Bayou better than anyone else, so we're waiting to hear all of his stories and see all of his friends as well. Yeah, you're decked out all ready for it. Well, exactly. I can get down just whenever he needs me, especially if we're going to see Mama Odie. Nice yes. to have a family dinner every time we want to. Tiana's Foods. We're excited. Can we get a picture with you, Tiana? Sure. Hop on over, sure. Thanks. All right, Sam has been trying out the broccoli slaw. I feel like we had to get some of the salad stuff in here. So I got the broccoli slaw, and I also got the kale salad, and I doused it in the homemade ranch. Okay. Ooh. How's it been? Crunchy? It's good. It's very, it's very, it tastes very fresh. It's everything I could hope for in a kale salad. One out of ten. 
I'll give them both sevens. Nice. Seven makes sense. I think their wish this evening is to have their own carriage made out of cheese. I don't blame them. Yeah, I would want a carriage made out of cheese for sure. Yes, of course. Well, I think we may have to make two carriages, just in case the little guest gets hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, of course. All right, so Jiminy Cricket has been walking us through. All right, take hold of your wishing star. Okay, I gotta get mine. My wish is to be determined. As wish makers do. And believe in myself. To make it come true. Beautifully done. Funny thing about wishes. Some have them right away, and others not take a little time. You see, I so remember, wish makers, all it may take for your wish to come true. Alright, so this is the saffron salmon. It looks very juicy. It comes with these little tomatoes and obviously a saffron type of... I think it's a butter. I think it's a saffron butter. Very juicy. Not fishy at all. Cinderella just said hi to us. It's awkward when they walk by as you're like stuffing your face. I always just like feel so like unflattering. Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I, w I would give that, uh, I would give that an eight. It's, it's, it doesn't taste fishy at all. The tomatoes are very good. Yes, the tomatoes are in the salad bar that I added to my kale salad, very good. Yeah, bursting with flavor. Curry chicken, little salty, but again, very juicy, which is hard to maintain when you have them over those heat lamps. I guess maybe they're just making the right amount so they're going through it right now. Also, we had a 405 reservation. They open at four, so I think we have fresher yeah. stuff. Everything is very fresh. That's well prepared. Curry's not, it's not too much curry. It's the right amount. But if you like like a lot of curry or if you like a lot of spice, because curry really is just a term for spices. Uh, we associate it with like Indian cuisine here, which it is, it's an Indian term. But it's still very good. Right amount of spice, right amount of flavor, just a little bit too much salt. Uh, I would give, still give it a seven though. I, I enjoy it and I think the interior is still very like juicy, fresh, delicious. Right, so we got dessert this is the strawberry soup. I put some whipped cream and some strawberries in there, but Sam, you got a little smorgasbord plate of a lot of the most interesting things. Of course, you had to use that gummy bear dispensary, uh, but what's on your plate right now? Okay, so I got the vanilla cupcake. This is a fudge brownie with triple chocolate mousse, I believe, on top. Chocolate cake cake with the creme anglaise gummy bears, and then this is a toasted coconut cake with passion fruit custard and hibiscus cream. And then this is the Grand Floridian Financier. Financier? Financier, I think it's called. Almond cake with sea salt caramel and toasted meringue. That's the one I'm most interested in, but uh, what are you gonna start with? I think everything looks really good. So, I'm gonna try this, and this is vegan, toasted coconut cake. That's the other thing I was looking at. That's very good. The passion fruit cream is so good. So tropical. Coconut and passion fruit. I'm gonna give that an eight. Wow, a lot of eight so far today and then one nine. Definitely worthy of being in the Grand Floridian. All right, so fudge, brownie. Look at that peel. So good, the, I really like the mousse. It's so rich and it's so just like light. The mousse overtakes the brownie. I'm t I taste the mousse more than anything, but I'm not complaining because it's really good. Nine. Wow. Very wow. Very good. It's that little mini chocolate cake with that vanilla sauce. I wonder if it's uh, going to be better than uh, Mama Melrose chocolate cake. Let's hope so. I changed my numbers. <laughs> Eight. Nine. 
So nine for this. This, eight they, for this. They keep these warm. This tastes like you have like a little mini lava cake. It's like a little tiny mini lava cake. It's so, it has like a bitter chocolate taste. That's my favorite so far. That's what I love is like the bitterness with the sweetness. Financier. Yeah, I feel like a financier. All right, the Grand Floridian Financier. Do they call it the financier because I'm going to be broke after I get the check? Probably. All right. You have to finance the meal. Yeah. Almond cake with sea salt caramel and toasted meringue. It's like a pound cake. It tastes like the almond cake with the meringue. You don't seem that impressed. It's okay. I think the chocolate thing's probably more impressive. I'll give it a six. It's good. It's like got a good, I don't know the right term, I don't want the M word, but a juicy, I guess, center, but it's not really juicy for cake, you know what I mean? Um, it's good. I just think that it tastes like pound cake to me. Pound cake's not, I'm never gonna blow me away. All right, tiny vanilla cupcake with little wishing stars on top. Let's try it out. I feel like all the desserts kind of like had colors of the restaurant. It's a vanilla cupcake. Uh, right frosting to cupcake ratio not too much not too little i'll give it a six again the vanilla cupcake's never gonna blow me away all right so here it is the moment of truth sam their signature strawberry soup strawberry fields all right let's look at the look at the whipped cream the whipped cream looks very high quality let me try it without the whipped cream first it's a smoothie in a bowl i think we watched do to you their breakfast they're a Good channel, two brothers called Goo to You. They did breakfast. They also had this at breakfast. They described it as yogurt. And it's like a runnier yogurt. And I don't say that in a negative way. That's what it tastes like, a runnier yogurt. Uh, it doesn't blow me away, but I like that it's different. So I'll give it a seven. Um, I don't think it's something I would run for every time, but it's not too sweet. It's got the uh, right amount of viscousness to call it a soup. It's good. It's very, very cold. Yeah, it's a cold soup, but it tastes just like strawberry yogurt to me. Only more viscous. Exactly like yogurt. Does viscous mean thick? I guess it's more runny, I guess it would be. Runny yogurt. I think they make it with yogurt, sour cream, and heavy cream. Yeah, it tastes, it tastes like yogurt. I think that it's, it's good. I think the gimmick is that they're putting it in a bowl and calling it soup, but... I mean, I would have it again, but I don't Yeah. Know. It doesn't blow me away, but I'm, I'm happy it's here. Yeah. What did you give it? Seven. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, it's a seven of a soup. It's good soup. All right, so that was definitely an interesting character meal. All right, so that does it for our time checking out 1900 Park Fair for the very first time after a four-year downtime. I, uh, I do want to say I think the food was good. Total was $140. I feel like that is on par with most character dining though. So I think the yeah. lowest character dining meal is like 62 and the highest is 84, which is Cinderella's Royal Table. Yeah. So it is kind of, it's in that range. Yeah, I did think the food was good. Um, I do think that there's better character meals. I guess it is, I guess it just is pricey. I've, I am at the Grand Floridian. I felt like I was financing those financiers <laughs> after paying. Uh, the aesthetic, it, it, feels like it contrasts itself a bit. Um, I do enjoy the wishing star theming, uh, but like having it on wallpaper just feels like something they could like easily refurbish. Um, and then the carousel theming kind of feels a bit thrown in there with the wishing star theming. I don't know how you felt about that. I know a lot of people are not happy about the retheme and the characters that were switched yeah. out, but the kids were having a great time. Yes. Like, yeah. And Mira Valentiana were amazing. Like, so I mean, I, a little kid is not going to go in there and be like, "Oh, I wish Mary Poppins yeah. was here." You know what I mean? They're going to be happy. It it is an eclectic group, and it does seem yeah. a little bit out of place in that themed room. Yeah. But it's. I still think it was nice. I think some part of it feels a bit like those like newer sterile rethemes that Disney's had. Uh, but there are parts that I like. I kind of did like the carousel theme because I loved um, the carousel kind of organ that kind of set above you as you ate. And then you were surrounded by all the characters as they were wishing upon their, or I guess they weren't, not all of them were wishing on a star, but they were having their wish or their moment of yearning within their story. And that's kind of set right above you. So you have the stories of these characters carouseling 
around you. Um, I kind of a bit of a stretch there for the theme, but <laughs> for me it worked out You're well. It. Yeah, um, I think the best character that we met was definitely Tiana. Yeah. And Tiana knocked it out of the park. Mirabelle was awesome too. And you know, I don't. Is there any character meal with Mirabelle or Tiana except for this one? Uh, Tiana is at Akershus. Oh, okay. Didn't yes, you're there, right. But she's in um, Princess Garb. At yes, Africa. that's that was you know because in the new Garb, I was I was thrown off. But this is the only place you could see her in her um, soon-to-be new ride, Tiana's Bayou Adventure Garb. And I think this is the only place you can meet Maribel, at least that I know right now, right? As far as a character meal. Really, character right? meal, yeah, yeah. You can meet her in the park uh, where you used to be able to meet Brave. Favorite thing that you ate, Sam? The gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> no, the chocolate cake. Yeah, the chocolate Food cake was my favorite. Food-wise, the prime rib yeah. and the mac and cheese were really good. Yeah. I was worried going into this because there were a lot of things on the menu that I don't eat. So I felt like I was limited. But what I had, I did really enjoy. And I did think pretty much a majority of the desserts were very good. I think everything hit. Yeah. Uh, and I agree with your sentiment. The chocolate cake, I would have given that a 10 to. Those little chocolate cakes. They were nice and warm. It was Perfect like a, amount of bitterness. It perfect was amount like of sweetness. A little mini personal like lava cake. I yeah. It was so good. And again, yeah, the prime rib was solid. Uh, delicious. The au jus was great, really good. Great server. Mashed potatoes were great. Yeah, the service was really good. Yeah. So everything was really good. Um, definitely great. It just, as, is it worth it? Honestly, it's going to be up to you. If your little kid wants to beat Mirabelle, Tiana, these characters, and you plan on dining in, I think it's worth it because it's basically a skip the line pass to meet the characters. They get one on one interactions, great pictures, and the food's pretty solid. Also, breakfast is always cheaper, so if you still want to do a mm. character meal, I think, and you want to save money, I think, go for breakfast. Yeah, we got to come back for breakfast. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video, video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time when videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. Kind of disappointed we couldn't find a breakfast reservation, but we couldn't get here on opening day. So we had to get here the day after, unfortunately. So those vloggers taking up all the seats. Yeah, well, this is our pre-Disneyland mm -hmm. meal, so I'm excited we're out to head to D Disneyland. Yeah, we're going to go see Tiana in Disneyland. Do you think your wish is going to come through? Uh, it better, or I'm going to ask for a refund. <laughs> And the uh, fine folks you see scrolling up on the screen, those are our members. You too can become a member for as low as $1.99 a month and get end credits, accreditation. If you want to learn more, hit the join button. We do appreciate any like, like, watch, comment, subscription. Uh, they all help this channel grow. But a special thank you to our members for help making this channel a reality here for us.